It's Tuesday morning, bright and early in the frickin' morning. It's like 8.30 in the morning. I couldn't get to bed last night. Shouldn't have had those like 4XL coffees. Holy shit. Well, I'm gonna eat something. Got myself a turkey leg here. Yup, been eating a lot of these things. So I'm gonna eat that and uh, get some laundry done and stuff. And then I gotta figure out how the hell I'm gonna get my hair cut now that Zeller's no longer has a hair salon. So we'll figure that out too and just carry on with the day. So. Without further ado, welcome to my vlog. Well, finally got my cameras back. No, not the Panasonic, the old Canon and the ZX5. Loaned them to the girlfriend's parents to go when they went on their vacation. And uh, I reviewed the footage on the ZX5. There's nothing on it. One picture and two video clips. And one clip's 10 seconds long. The other one's like one second long. I haven't looked at the footage on the Canon yet. But uh, I promised them I copy it all to a DVD and stuff. And then we'll uh, burn it to a DVD and then they can have it. So, but uh, yeah, I don't know uh, what the hell they could have taped. But whatevs. Anyway, I'm going outside for a cigarette. I'm gonna bring the dog out too because I don't think he's been out yet, so let's give her. Wow, this weather's just messed right up. Like, uh, well, we got a bunch of different color changing leaves over there, right? But yesterday, that tree across the street was full of leaves. Now they're all on the lawn. Buddy's tree over there is getting blown clean all over the bus stop. Poor girl's over there at the bus stop just getting leaved on. Leaved on. It's like snowed on, but with leaves. Go with it. But, uh, got scruffy, fluffy puppy whoopy out here with me. I think he's uh, debating on taking a shit. I don't know. He's freaking weird. Just doing some laundry because I'm out of vlogging life shirts. That's why I'm still rocking yellow. Once laundry's done, then I can change colors and, you know, clean up. And just give her. I might need a nap though. Holy crap. Tiredness just set in after eating that turkey leg. So, ah, we'll see what we get into. Frig it. So Magix has a new version of Movie Edit Pro. So I'm downloading that right now. And uh, we'll friggin' give her a go and see how it goes. Frig yeah. Basically, I got the bundle, the Movie Edit Pro and the Music Maker uh, Pro, I guess, or whatever it is. The 2013 edition, the brand new edition that just came out, which apparently 64-bit, which is nice because the copy I'm using of Magix is version 15 and Music Maker version 16, I think it is. And and, you know, they're kind of outdated and stuff, so it's good to get these new ones so I can really give them a go. So, that's the battle plan anyway, just to friggin' give them a go and see how they work. So we'll get them installed and we'll test them out and see what's new with them, I guess. That's the battle plan. 64-bit, though, should be faster. Should be a hell of a lot faster. Alrighty, well, I got Magix installed, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try with the footage I already have from the vlog and see if I can cut it together and see what happens. Alright, let's do this. Alright, so currently the vlog is about 3 minutes and 30 seconds long and it's taken no time for that bar to giddy up and go. What's really nice, and it's hard to see it here, is it's actually using the CUDA cores on my video card. So if I were to get more CUDA cores, this Magix would go even faster. Apparently it also supports AMD's OpenCL. So that's pretty cool right on so uh, I don't know it's different there's a couple of things I didn't like about about it at first but I figured out how to fix that but uh, eh, it'll take some getting used to to figure out and stuff and then uh, I'll probably do a tech video on it and go from there it's got some features that Rex was uh, see Rex brought his laptop last night because he bought Magic's movie at a Pro 15 when I bought it but he bought his uh, I can't remember where he bought his from it wasn't, he ordered it online or something and got the box shipped to his house. But he never liked it because it had, it's, he likes his, his career, uh, Cyberlink's Power Director, where I found Power Director kind of weak. And I found Magix, I could do a lot more with it because of the multi track, multi layer editing. But he likes his video editing software, and you know what, that's fine. But um, he brought it out tonight, and I was trying to show him some editing stuff with it, but he just didn't like the fact of the way it works. And he likes the way his his power director works. So, you know, whatevs. But with this new one, it actually has a pretty cool feature there. Video's done rendering right on. It actually has this really cool feature up here under import where it actually shows the pictures of the videos. And Rex didn't like the fact that you couldn't see that before. So, 
now you can see it, so it works out fine. Anywho, the battery on the camera is about to shit the bed, so I better turn it off and change the battery out. I did beat the living shit out of it yesterday, so there you go. Um, yeah, I'll check out and review this video and see how it looks. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace out. Well, I still got some tweaking to do to the Magix program. I was dicking around with settings and stuff, and I kind of cocked it over, so I deleted it. Uh, the project, not the program. <laughs> Um, I have to play with it some more and figure it out. But uh, right now I got the Magix Music Maker 2013 installed and it's installing all the sound pools and synthesizers and effects and all the stuff. So I'll let that go through and then uh, we'll just take her from there. It's going to take a while, so frig it. Holy shit, it's 2.30 and I'm just getting my ass out of bed again. Oh man, I'm feeling rough. But I desperately need a shower before I go to work. So yeah, I got woken up by a phone call. Actually, a yeah, bloke called me and uh, wanted to let me know about some big event where this guy's riding a hot air balloon right up to the uh, uppermost atmosphere. And his plans are to set the record for the highest skydive. So, huh, okay, that's kind of cool. Let's go outside. I also got a call from Kojiko, that's the cable company, and uh, basically they're like, well, you know, you've been a customer of ours for like a real long time, and uh, we wanted to offer you a deal on phone service. I'm like, bro, I don't even have a phone. Well, I have a phone line, but that's so we could have the DSL at the house, right? So I don't even use a phone on it. So it's like, why the frig would I want to pay, even, pay you guys even more money? for phone service that goes over the internet so that I can blow my cap that much quicker. Like why would I want to pay even more money on top of what I'm already paying, right? So it's like, I, I'm sorry sir, I don't understand. I'm sorry sir, I don't, every time I said something like I already have a home phone line. I'm sorry sir, I don't understand. I have a telephone at my house. I'm sorry sir, I don't understand. I'm like, you know what? Listen bud, I said, you guys are ripping me off as it is. So do yourself a favor and go away. You don't understand, I don't want to talk to you. End of story. Then I hung up on him. <laughs> he actually went as far as to say that having a home phone line is good because it keeps telemarketers from calling your cell phone. Telemarketers aren't biased. They'll call your cell phone, they'll call your home phone right after they call your cell phone. They don't give a shit. So like, oh man, the stupid routines that these people try to run to get you to buy their services is just brilliant just brilliant well i am enjoying that magics but i like i said i screwed up big time today when i edited so i'll have to uh, re-edit later on or something figure it out but uh yeah i cocked over the program pretty bad <laughs> oh well but uh, we're gonna have to go in have a shower get ready for work and go into work i think tonight it's two-man crew again just me and big bad bruce Friggin' it's gonna suck, but uh, you know, it's the way she goes. Gotta go into work today though, otherwise I don't get paid overtime for yesterday, because I don't know how it is in the US or anywhere else, but for us, if you, if you want the overtime pay, you gotta work the day before and after the overtime day to get the overtime, otherwise you get straight time, which sucks. So, yeah, gotta go into work today. Despite the fact that I haven't slept. Thank God I got coffee at work. I can just jack myself up and try and stay awake. Just cut the coffee off at 8. Come home, edit, upload, and go to bed early so I can actually feel somewhat functioning tomorrow. Holy shit. I feel rough. So that was when you drink four extra large coffees. That's what? 96 fluent, fluent ounces of coffee? Yeah, fluent ounces of coffee. That's like a pot and a half, I think. Because the average cup of coffee, like when you buy like a, a coffee brewer that holds uh, 12 cups of coffee, it's only 12 8 ounce cups. So, yeah, I killed that. I had like four pots of coffee or some shit. Just gurgling it back. Not good. Not good. But anywho, I'm going to head her inside, have a shower, get ready for work, and uh, just give her. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace out. So I've owned this house for six years now, and I just checked the mail. And I received mail for the previous owner of the house. He's been dead for four years. And he's got a BMO insurance. Important enclosure, act promptly. Yeah. And he has like no next of kin. So there's nobody I can authorize to take this. So it's like, what do you do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put Sharpie all over the address and send it back to the sender. Frig it. Anyway, it's shower time. 
So the vlog's 9 minutes and uh, 48 seconds long. It's going to take me 4 minutes and 34, well, not 39 seconds to render it. So that's not too bad, actually. Not too bad at all. She's going pretty good. The bar's really just giving her. So, should be done soon. I'll copy it over to my my, my zip drive. That's a, a figure out. Oh, it's already in the computer. And then, uh, right on. We're gonna have to go make a lunch and get ready for work. So let's go do that. Oh, and guys, I farted. Not good. Freaking, oh my god. I really gotta quit eating turkey. Cause these turkey farts, they're gonna be the death of me. Alrighty, well, time to head her off to work. Look at that, 16 degrees. Yesterday I wanted to snow. Today it's awesome. Weather's cock. Let's go to work. So, I re-edited up the vlog there and magics and rendered it and took no time to render. It just friggin' pounds through it. That software's mint. Really enjoying it. The Magix Music Maker, they fixed a lot of the problems with the old one. Mind you, I was using version 16. And this one here, I guess you can call it version 19 because it's, it's the uh, version after MX and MX was version 18. So the magic, the new Magix Music Maker is really phenomenal. Like it's really nice. You know, uh, the problem I had with version 16 was, is when you pick the sound pool, if you accidentally clicked on a uh, instrument to hear it to see if that's the one you wanted, you couldn't scroll up or down anymore. It wouldn't give you the option to scroll, so you had to like figure around with it and grab the little scroll bar on the side and you can give her. And they just changed the layout of everything, and it's so much nicer and. They give you a lot more sound pools too with the new one. Mind you, they're all downloads that you gotta do with your data, but uh, you know, frig it. Hell of a lot nicer than uh, than having to go out and buy the DVDs and install freaking three DVDs per, per damn library. Like, that was brutal. But even it feels quicker too. Like, it's a lot snappier, sounds a lot nicer. So, I don't know. I'm gonna edit the whole vlog today on the Magix Movie Edit Pro. I'm gonna see how it is probably won't switch back to it but i do use magic's movie editor pro 15 so now i'll use i'll use this new 2013 for doing other things like when i do my tutorials i'll probably start doing some 2013 tutorials uh unfortunately i don't have the deluxe i have the the basic mo model so the deluxe has a lot of other cooler features in it a bunch of plugins and you know map designer it's got this really cool trip planner thing in the deluxe where like uh see you're going to the dominican for instance because we are you can actually do a little film clip of like um, like a plane taking off from North Bay and then flying down to the Dominican, so that's kind of cool. You know, it's got little little quirky things like that built into it. Themed videos, and it's got a lot of cool stuff, but uh, I just I just got the basic one, which is what I've always ran, Magic, Magic Movie Edit Pro. Not deluxe, not uh, premium, just, just the regular one. Because all that, like, if I really wanted to, I could actually edit a scene with the world map and I could fly myself from North Bay to Dominican and put that in as a as a little cutscene or something if I wanted to do that. Or, you know, they have like things where you're driving, like, say I was going to visit Bloke, it would show a car driving down the highway all the way to uh, to Bloke's house, it would be basically like a top view, like a, like a Google map like setup. So, you know, you can, you can do all that on your own. It just takes a little bit of creativity and and time. Just the program does it for you and it makes it a lot easier to get the job done. But friggin', if I really want to do that, I'll do it myself. I'm gonna take the highway, friggin'. It's quacker. We'll finance your repair bill. Northbaychrysler.com. Oh yeah? Who do you finance through? Friggin' city financials? Yeah, we'll finance it, 22.3% interest. It's a $2,000 freaking repair job, no problem. We'll pay seven grand for it. No problem, you know? <sighs> oh, I laughed yesterday, people. I was on Facebook and my friend Kaylee Kill posts uh, a comment on Facebook that, hey guys, I just made a video and um, sorry, it's 12 minutes long, didn't mean to make it so long. So I comment back to her. I'm like, holy shit, you're apologizing for making your video 12 minutes long and telling people it's too long? I said, I make a video that's 12 minutes and I get shit on because it's too short? <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> ah, well. It's the way she goes. The way she goes. Oh, I shouldn't have went on a trailer park boys binge. Just finished watching season six when Ray's in the trailer park living out of his friggin' dirty old uh, camper trailer. He gets evicted. 
and uh, he's in the dump and he's like, it's the way she goes. Friggin' Ray. Well, I'm going to be due for a new intro in the near future. You'll find out why once it happens. And I was thinking, I don't know how many people subscribe to Rex 4x4, but you know he has that quick little intro? I was thinking about doing one of those, something really quick and, and, and simple and nothing crazy. Just something very, very, very basic. Instead of doing the whole starring Adam S. Ski or Adam S. Skaven, instead of introducing the animals and everything, just doing something really, really, really basic. Kind of like what I did when I first started vlogging, you know? So what would you guys think of that? A shorter intro, longer intro? I know a lot of you are probably going to say no intro, but that's not an option. Shorter or longer, those are the only options I'm giving you. So I wonder how I'm going to have to edit this on Magics. This is going to be a challenge. It's so easy in Sony Vegas. Not so easy in Magics. I will figure it out. We will figure it out. Somehow. Oh crap, I'm running out of time. I already got seven minutes on the camera. Stupid ten minute recording time. Like seriously? Canon, what were you thinking? I know it's not your fault. We could have put something in the firmware to split the file after four gigs. That's why I always wondered when people vlog with these cameras and they only buy an eight gig memory card. 16 gigs only gives you 52 minutes at 720p. So, you buy an eight gig memory card, that's like 20 minutes of footage, so you're non-stop running back to your computer and doing file dumps. Oh, perfect, a red light. All right, I'm gonna stop the feed and carry on the feed. One second, please. Please stand by. There we go. It was almost seamless. It's like nothing even happened. Yeah, I want to be in this lane because this lane goes straight. Uh, so we'll have to see what happens at work today because Buddy Van Dudo that I was working with yesterday, well, two customers called back and wanted to complain about him because he was slacking like a big time bastard. Friggin' putting people on mute for no reason and hanging up on customers and telling customers call unplug your modem plug it back in call back if it doesn't work like bullshit like that it's like freak sakes you put them on mute and be like i can't deal with this shit anymore i can't deal with this and i'm like deal with what it's your job just take it and like it like we're getting paid freaking mint yesterday you can't take the job why the hell did you opt for overtime Oh, because you wanted the fat paycheck and you're hoping you're going to sit on ass. Oh, I, I see how it is. You know, yesterday was busy because the freaking network control center decided to start doing some work without having authorization to do the work. And it kind of freaking frigged everything up on us. But he expected to sit on ass and do frig all, all day. Alrighty, we're at friggin' work. What's awesome is, is due to the fact that all the parts of the company are shutting down, it's always parking available. Alrighty, we're here. So I'm gonna head her inside, make a couple cups of coffee, try and wake up a bit. I gotta make it to midnight and then I'm going home, going to bed. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace out. I have a new customer based pet peeve. Guy calls me tonight about his phone not working and stuff. So walking through the whole troubleshooting steps, all of a sudden you hear a bag of chips go off in the background and he shoves a bunch in his face while he's talking to me. So now he's talking to me with a mouthful while crunching on chips. Friggin' lovely. Like, I'm telling you, best thing ever. Luckily, tonight's not too busy. You know, it was busy when we first came in. It's starting to slow down. It's only two of us running the show. So it kind of sucks, but it's the way she goes, you know? <clears throat> What's funny is the guy who's off right now, yeah, this is his uh, third free floater. <laughs> he was kind of smart. He booked three Fridays back to back as floats, and then he booked two days off last week. Oh no, two days off earlier in the year before he went on his parental leave in April. And so that was his five floaters. Well, he booked two days last week for his uh, floats or the week before for his floats. And then he booked uh, today off as a float, which were three extra days. So out of 20 days he gets off, he took 23 days off. And the company's gonna let it slide because it wasn't documented properly. Gotta love that, eh? Gotta love that. Yup. Also one of the tickets that came back to me tonight from our toll group, she put a friggin' anime smiley in and it looked like this. Like, what? Who does that in a corporate log system? 
ridiculous, simply ridiculous. People just don't care anymore because the company's up for grabs. But they don't realize that if somebody does buy the company and they want to keep some employees on, they're going to take a look at it, all the files and all the people's personnel reports and stuff. And, you know, if you're a slacker and you're uh, not following protocol and stuff, you're not going to have a job. End of story, right? Well, that's the way it should be. Just right dicked. Right dicked. Anywho, I'm heading her back inside. I had the call bloke on my break and talking about stuff business stuff, you know, just things. But um, I'm gonna head her back inside and I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Peace out. Well, people, it's lunchtime, eight o'clock. There's no wind tonight, so right on. And uh, freaking cat piss sends me a link that scared the living shit out of me. Judgment day is coming, people. Judgment day is coming. Basically, Apple's accepted the fact that they pretty much innovate their technology to the max. All they can do is upgrade on their current platforms and produce better versions of what they have, right? You know, like a newer iPhone with probably a better camera or something. There's only so far they can push it. So the next step is they want to tie all these electronics together. Now you're probably thinking, well, Adam, they kind of did with iCloud. Now you can, like, have a picture on your iPhone, upload it to your iCloud, and it's available on your MacBook, your Apple TV, anything attached to the iCloud, right? No, they want to go one step further. Now you're probably thinking, well, they got Siri. Siri works on your iPhone, your iPad your iPod Touch, your freaking MacBook, because with the iOS uh, mountain lion you have Siri support, all that stuff and junk and... No, 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 they want to go one step further than that. Those sons of bitches want to invent artificial intelligence. Apple is Skynet, people. Yup, it's happening, it's happening. Within five years, they want to invent artificial intelligence to tie all their stuff together. Huh, kind of scares me a little bit. I remember when Parrot built the AR drone, Apple wanted to buy the company Parrot and call it the Apple iFlight or something like that. And they're going to make an Apple based flying device for funsies, you know? But then they realized the market wasn't really hot for it, so they figured it was a bad investment and backed out, which is kind of smart because anybody who bought one of those AR drones knows you fly the living shit out of it for about a week and then it just sits in your garage forever, kind of like my trophy truggy. So, you know. It's, it wasn't a good investment at all, so that's probably why they didn't do it. They realized that it was just a bad idea. But then again, a lot of Apple fanboys probably would have bought it because it would have had an Apple logo on it, and you know, they got to have everything Apple, so just saying. So first comes artificial intelligence, then you watch. Apple's going to make the iBot. I guarantee it. They're going to make an iBot. It's going to be a fully automaton freaking robot that walks around your house and does all the mundane chores that you don't want to do, like vacuuming, dishes, you know, feeding the pets, taking the dog for a walk, all the stuff that you don't want to do, you know. Turn up the volume on the TV if you have one of those old-fashioned TVs with the friggin' knobs on it still, and if you do, that's pretty dickered because they should have been blown out a long time ago. Just saying. But they actually lasted long, so if you have one, kudos. But honestly, I don't know about you guys, but that kind of scares the shit out of me. Imagine sitting there one day, you know, it's on a weekend, you're bored out of your mind, your phone can sense that you're bored out of your mind, and all of a sudden your phone just all of a sudden pops up and, you know. You seem bored. Maybe you should give Rex 4x4 a call and see if he wants to go for coffee. Huh. Maybe I will give them a call. Thanks, iPhone. You know, that would be just totally dicked. Big time. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> God knows what it'll be able to do. It'd be like that freaking uh, like Iron Man with his AI in his house. Or even worse, Portal 2, Gladys. Or even Portal, for instance, Gladys. Imagine that. Holy shit, I can just see all the hell going on already. Well, as long as they invent a portal gun before they invent the AI, maybe then we'll stand a chance. Maybe. Probably not. We'll be dicked. Anyway, I'm heading back inside. I'll talk to you guys on my next break. Peace out. Alrighty guys, it's uh, frickin' midnight. 11 degrees Celsius out. Not as warm as it was today, but uh, I'll take it. Gonna go to the Hortons and meet up with Rex. I know, I know. Still burning the candle at both ends. And like I was told, apparently in the middle too. But uh, frig it, you know? You only live once and stuff. Wasn't that YOLO? Son of a bitch. I'm going to the Hortons. All right, people, I'm shit my pants and I'm home. So, um, didn't film anything at the Hortons. So, you know, we're just chit chatting and talking and stuff about YouTube things and other things. And we tend to discuss a lot of YouTube stuff, a lot of project ideas and things, and, you know, just life things. And that's what we do at the Hortons get caffeinated and talk about things. Um, 
probably from like today I edited the vlog completely with the Magix Music, uh, Magix Movie Edit Pro 2013. And there's a couple features in it that I like, and there's a bunch of features in it that I don't like. So I'm probably going to go back to editing the vlogs with Sony Vegas, mainly for simplicity reasons. And you'll see what I'm talking about when I do the review on the Northern Tech if you subscribe to that channel, which you know. I do a lot of video editing tutorials on that channel, so if you want to learn some tips and tricks, well, I'll have them up there. Um, I'm going to be doing a review on that 2013 and stuff that should have been added that's not added and stuff that was added that's really cool. And mind you, I just got the base model. I don't have deluxe or premium, but uh, I'm going to go over it. Break it. But uh, yeah, I did the editing on that today. And uh, let's just say that drive to work. Holy shit, that was hard to do. So yeah. But on that note, guys, I'm shutting the video down here. I gotta go inside. I gotta edit, upload, and go to bed. If you liked today's video, hit the like button. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know where to leave them. And until next time, guys, keep on vlogging. And mom said it felt like getting attacked by a bunch of bees. She was just getting pelted to death. So they decided to call her quits, went inside. Sure enough, they walked inside, took the shoes off, and it stopped. So, yeah, big old hailstorm in North Bay. Apparently up north on the North Highway, not too far from here, they got snow. We haven't gotten that yet, which is good, because I really need to get around and mowing that freaking lawn soon. I'm getting that set and done with. And out of the way. Huh, a little bit of latency on the throttle. What the frig gives? I'm telling you people, this car's trying to kill itself. So yeah, I think I might have to uh, cut out the parts at work when I vlog if the wind's too bad. But then I'm gonna stick using this camera for a while. Even when I get the Panasonic back, I might film with it a couple times. But um, I think I might save the Panasonic for things that uh, are more specific to it. I'm probably gonna get a couple more batteries for this thing. But I'm not buying the cheap eBay batteries. Cheap eBay batteries don't last long, don't last worth a shit, I should say. I think I'm gonna stick with the actual name brand batteries because at least they last the right time and they're not mislabeled. But the battery that's in there right now is what, 800 milliamp? And the cheap Chinese batteries are like 1500 milliamp, but they're the same size battery pack, like the same size plastic pack, obviously, because the camera, the battery goes inside the camera. So it's like, how do you get more milliamps out of the same size pack? Oh, it's easy, you don't, you just mislabel it. And it's actually only like 500 milliamps, so that's why it doesn't last as long. So, yeah, I'm gonna stick with the name brand batteries, because they're not built cheaply and they actually do the job. And I've already lost the flip to a Chinese battery. That's right, the pink flip. 